In this video, we'll look at the equation for PbOH2 plus H2O. So we have lead to hydroxide plus water. We want to know what happens when we put these two together. So we have the solubility rules here. These are really good rules to remember. We should really see if this is soluble first, because if it's insoluble, then it'll just be a solid and nothing will happen. You'll have solid lead to hydroxide in water. So as we look at our rules down here, most hydroxide salts, they're only slightly soluble with these exceptions here. And when we have something that's slightly soluble. We, we say that it's insoluble. So we're going to put an S here for a solid. Then the water would be a liquid. We can check this too on a solubility table. We could take a look at this solubility table here and lead two is down here. Hydroxide, all the negative ones are on the top. Here's the hydroxide. So if we come down and then we go across, we see that I there. That stands for insoluble. So that's the same thing we had with the solubility rules. So since this is insoluble, nothing is going to happen here. We put the solid in with the water. It'll fall to the bottom of the test tube and it will sit there. We should note that things dissolve a little bit almost all the time. So when we do put the lead to hydroxide water, just a little bit of it's going to dissolve, 0.0155 grams per 100 milliliters. And the solubility product, the KSP, is 1.42 times 10 to the minus 20th. So this is such a small amount. It does, some does go into solution and dissociate into the ions. Such a small amount that we say it's insoluble and we write S. This is Dr. B with PBOH2 plus H2O. Thanks for watching.